Hey guys! This video is about the essential 3D modeling skills and tricks that you need to know before starting retopologizing in Blender. And also, guess what? I have a gift for you that I'm gonna tell you about it in the middle of the video. So make sure to watch till the end and give me a like. Let's start! First, for starting the retopology process, shift A and add a plane. Click R, X, 90 degree to rotate it. Scale and move it here. Then from here you need to turn on the snap to face and then turn on this option, project individual elements. And in viewport display, turn on in front and now you can see the whole plane better than before. Then go to object, set origin and origin to 3D cursor. Also you can add a shrink wrap modifier to the plane and choose the face as the target. Now you can see that this plane is completely snapped to the face and if you choose it and go to edit mode you can play with its uh, edges, points or face. And guys I explained completely about top 10 modifiers in Blender to improve your 3D character modeling. I put the video up here, make sure to check it out. Then choose the plane again and add a mirror modifier to it. And if you want to stick these edges together, don't forget to turn on the clipping in mirror modifier. And you see that these edges can be merged together. Now that you set the planes like this, you can start retopologizing your character. So if you don't know about it, let me tell you that you can use R to rotate, S to scale and G to move. And the main thing that you need to know about for retopologizing is using E key to extrude the edges, faces or the points. Then you can go to the faces and click Ctrl R and you can scroll with your mouse to add more loops or less loops. And then after adding loops, make sure to move the edges and the points and the faces in a way that we have perfect squares like this. Guys, actually in this video, I'm not gonna say anything about how to retopologize in Blender. As I said, I just wanna show you the modeling skills that you need to know in order to get ready for doing the retopology. And definitely my next video is about how to do retopology in Blender. So there is another trick that I'm gonna show you. I select this edge and extrude it by pressing E. And to continue creating these faces, I can do the same process. But the better way would be that you can hold Ctrl and right click at the same time. It's so easy, just try it. Try to hold Ctrl and right click. Definitely it can speed up your workflow. Another thing is that consider we have these faces like so. If you want to add a new face in between, we can select these edges and bridge them by hitting F. Also, if you want to remove an extra edge, we can select the edge and press delete button on the keyboard and then choose dissolve edges. So for the next trick, you need to go to preferences, add-ons and make sure to turn on F2 add-ons. And then as you see, whenever we have L shape like this, we can select these middle points and then click F. So you can see that the new face is created. So guys remember I said I have a gift for you so let me introduce you to today's sponsorship which is Skillshare. As you know Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes and if you have a specific skill you're trying to learn like 3D character modeling in Blender, ZBrush or Maya, Skillshare is the perfect place to start. Actually I just got done taking this class on Blender 3D deep dive into texturing by Southern Shadow 3D and I think this is gonna help you to learn to texture paint your 3D characters while learning the texturing workflow in Blender. You know you learn the tools, PBR materials and tricks to speed up your workflow. I know that many of you guys have been struggling with texture painting in Blender and I think this course could be a perfect match. And yes, this is my gift for you. The first 1000 people to use the link on my description box or my code ARAMTORKON will get a one month free trial of a Skillshare. Don't miss this one month of free membership. <laughs>
If you want to merge the points, you can, for example, select these two points and click Alt M and merge at the center. Also, the next thing is that if we have a loop here in between and we like to move the edge, we'd better to use shortcut GG instead of G because by using GG shortcut, you can slide the edges. Also, if you want to connect two points, like so. You can select these points and press J to join. You see I select these points and just press J. There is another way that we use it sometimes for connecting the points or creating new faces and that's the knife tool and the shortcut is K. As you see you can create points like this by using shortcut K and whenever you've done with it you can just hit the space bar. The knife tool is a very useful tool so make sure to learn how to use it. The next thing is is that if you like to move a few points it's better to turn on the proportional editing and then scroll with the mouse to make the circle bigger or smaller and then try to move the points like so and using proportional editing would be so easier rather than moving just point by point. Also, if you want to delete the faces, you can select them and hit the delete button on the keyboard and then delete faces. So the next thing that I'm gonna show you is smoothing the vertices. Assume that you have these faces like so. So for smoothing them, you can select them and go to vertex and select smooth vertices. And then if you press shift R, you can always repeat the last thing that you choose and did in Blender. Also, if you like, you can just choose a part of your topology and do the same process. So for the next thing I'm gonna show you, first you need to go to preferences, go to add-ons and search for loop tools and make sure to turn it on. And then suppose that we have these faces like so and we have uneven edges here and it is awful for the topology because as we said before, for having a better topology, we should create square faces. So whenever you have something like this, you can choose a loop and then right click, go to loop tools and choose space. Whenever you choose space, it's gonna make the edges of these faces even for you. For example, we can choose this loop and do the same process. You can see that now we have even edges here. Then again, after using these loop tools, we can select these vertexes and again, smooth them. Also, as you see, I'm using this method here on the lips. There is also another tool which is polybuild and for example, by using this polybuild tool, you can just grab these edges and move it to the place you want. And if you want to remove a face, you just need to hold shift and click at the same time to remove the face. Also, if you go to the tools here and then under the options, turn on the auto merge here and for example, put the threshold value to 0.1. When you create a new face like so, you can move the point to the nearest point here and to merge them together. So as you see, just by turning on the auto merge option here, when you are creating new faces, you can merge them together like so. Also guys, when you have an L shape like this, you can just hover your mouse to this middle point here, hold control and grab the point here. And as you see, we can easily create new faces. So remember, just go to the middle point, hold control and grab the point. Guys, I made many useful videos about character modeling and sculpting, especially in Blender. So make sure to check them out and also wait for my new tutorials because they're gonna be so cool. Thanks for watching. See you later.